Hello everyone, it's Rod and welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rod Kutarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising, a weekly tarot reading for uh, February 25th to March 3rd, 2019. I'm going to use the traditional Reader White Tarot deck, which in this case it is the Radiant version of it. And now while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that uh, this is going to be a general reading for uh, Libra star sign and for that reason um, it's going to resonate in a different level and in a different way with every single different uh, Libra because you guys are unique to one another and uh, if you want more personal touch uh, that will be a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you will find a, a full list of my services, as well as their pricings. <clears throat> and if you go for it, uh, don't forget that till the end of February, which is very, very soon, uh, all of the prices, uh, all of the prices, excuse me, of all of the services are with reduced costs to make myself more accessible, excuse me, for uh, people we need and especially people in a financial struggle. So that being said, going for the Libra star sign, that is going to be a four card tarot spread and uh, the first card, which is about the topic of your week, that is going to be the King of Cups. The second card, which is about how you should not proceed with uh, the situation, this is going to be the, um, the strength card. The third one, it is the best possible approach toward the situation or toward the topic that uh, person here that we do have. This is going to be the Page of Swords. And the last one, uh, which is this final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of uh, the cards, this is the Seven of Wands. So once again, King of Cups, followed by the uh, Strength card. Then we do have the Page of Swords. And the last one that is going to be the seven of wands. So we do have a, a very faithful interaction here. Basically what, what these cards are pointing is that a person is coming around. What kind of a role that person is going to play in your life? That depends. I mean, that person could uh, appear as a, um, as a suitor or as a, a business kind of like partnership as well. It does depend. It's because... Uh, what that person does is a, a very good offer, somewhat a, a tempting offer, and that tempting offer is going to uh, help you in many ways, depending where that offer takes place. But all in all, what we do have here is that uh, just an overview of the reading at the start before we go in uh, more in depth into card to card is uh, that basically this week for you libra it is how how can i place it is about solidifying one's positions it is uh it is about not allowing any more others to influence your things or to kind of like sabotage um your daily routine your projects at career and as well you know your romantic life either and etc etc and once again it will affect different fields for different for different libras and what field is going to affect for you will depend where that person is coming in so the the topic of the week as we said that <clears throat> that is to be the king of cups which is obviously a, a person coming in someone who is capable of uh, of very deep feelings that's why that could be as well a romantic thing all right a romantic relationship even if that person approaches you business wise it is most likely um, true that they will also gonna have some sort of an, an emotional connection with you these people they don't approach just a random guys or girls for that matter these people approach only those that they find emotional connection with a, a very <clears throat> balanced nature it is what that person has somewhat very respected as well from the society and they are capable of um they're capable of making a balanced decisions balanced judgments right but uh when they appear uh 
when they appear in your life in either field or in another and you may know them as well until now but they haven't stepped in until this very moment and they may be are examining you in one way or another when they when that person steps out and when that person appear um first thing that they are going to do well they, they can do a couple of things first is to offer you to make you like i said a tempting offer or the offer may contain um them helping you with something so kind of like offering you a helping hand and in this specific case with the king of cups it is good thing not to turn off the helping hand there is no reason why you should do that the only reason that you can you can truly do that it is out of um of of pride of pride all right it is about that you may be too proud to take on a help if i have to classify the king of cups they're usually uh, medical doctors healers people that work with in the social fields and these kind of uh, stuff basically uh, the job occupation and the society occupation of the king of cups it is it is somewhat in a quiet place but in the same time a lot is depending on them just like the doctors for example uh, <clears throat> important thing to know is that they will make only one attempt what i mean is that uh, they ain't gonna chase especially if that is a uh, uh, with a romantic flavor in it I mean uh, the interaction has a romantic flavor in it because they uh, the king of cups invest emotionally only where they think it's worth it and for them chasing ain't worth it at all so when they make an approach to you you have to make your decision with the snap of your fingers should you allow them you know to kind of like lead somewhat a flirting in relationship with you or not and based on your and based on the impression you give it's going to define how that person will proceed on forward with the interaction with you following in the week february 25th to march 3rd the accompanied card of the king that will be the two of wands and what we do have here is passive enemies as a um, as an interaction in between the cards and uh, the two of one simply points that you don't have to look any further than that i mean that is the person for the time being that is all right for the time being so basically that guy or that woman here can truly offers you a way out of your difficulties like i said you don't have to seek any further but with the two of uh, ones which kind of like uh, consolidate as well on the uh, second card which is what you should not do here that will be the um, strength it points that they are not aggressive type and you should not approach the situation aggressively as well like demanding and, and showing i don't know how to say it in english but when you uh, present yourself as the most important thing in this um, in this world for example you know that only your opinion matters and that they should follow you and so on and so forth it's basically that 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 situation itself with this person will require from you to be very very humble regarding the situation itself so going to the second card which is the strength like we showed and that will be about what you should not do the strength refer to temper uh, to temperament in a sense of that uh, that you may be quick in your temper um kind of like interacting with them which is the last thing you want to do because like i said that person is very balanced very calm very patient and uh they don't like outbursts at all i mean king of this is the way how you can lose the king of cups making outbursts making dramas making dilemmas because for them the resolution of every issue that could appear and could arise into one situation is through mutual conversations being calm being humble as well and um finding uh, finding basically a resolution uh, within the framework of what of the means that you possess at that very moment and finding the resolution in a such a way that is going to suit both of you my, my point here guys is that scandals are not going to lead you far with them i mean let's give you the example here that 
uh, you start dating with a guy and there is a, um, a, a date scheduled, but something happened on their end and they can't come to the date. So you get mad and you make a scandal for it. And that is a sure way how there won't be any date any longer. Okay, so it's kind of like you got to have the ability to place into their shoes if for some reason some of their behavior disappoints you in any way. The strength card also points that you have to show interest immediately into what they are offering to you in case you want to take advantage of their offer or helping hand or attraction for that matter because that could be as well involving attraction because the strength other way around it does represents where, where one should not um, kind of seek for approval or recognition from the others which means that uh, when the strength is in a positive position you should not care what others think what others find you for as an impression and so on and so forth while well, here you should care a lot of what that person has an impression towards you in the general sense so yeah i mean you you have to step in um kind of like with the all you got in a sense of that you need to show once again that you are interested in what they have to offer to you. It doesn't mean that you have to agree straight away, but at least you need to show interest to feed up their emotional, um, their emotional connection to you. The accompanied card with the strength that is going to be the Six of Pentacles. So what we do have here is active neutrals. And um, <clears throat> basically, it's it's going to be an awkward situation. This is what the Six of Pentacles is pointing. And also, uh, the flavor that it adds here, it means that uh, at the start, you may not find, especially if we're talking about help, that they will offer you to help you with something. You may not find a reason behind it in the sense of that you will think that that help ain't going to lead you anywhere. And in reality, this person, no matter how much they uh, they want to, no matter how uh, sincere intentions they have to help you, in reality, they can't really resolve your issues. While that may be true to a certain extent, like said, uh, they may not be able to help you now, you know, with whatever you have to, to deal with, but at least you're going to win a, a faithful companion that could help you furthermore. I mean, allow that person to um, basically contribute for your well-being, even if you don't find it productive at, uh, at, this, particular, uh, at this particular way. As well, um, the Six of Pentacles here, it does uh, relate to some sort of an old issues that you may have, not specifically with that guy or that woman here, but maybe an issues with similar type of, uh, of interactions back in the past, which are preventing you to somewhat believe in their sincere intentions. And those issues need to be addressed in a sense of that, you know, when you show interest, you can share a portion of that poignant experience with them so you know they can at least try to give you some sort of a reassurance that they that this ain't gonna happen this time around when you tackle uh with them so basically a libras uh, you gotta be initiative when it comes to uh, this guy. Once again, you can know, you may know that guy. They may not be uh, very initiative until this very moment, but now something provokes in them to um, to step forward. And once again, that could, that is a serious, serious uh, chance here that to be a suitor. Now, in that case, I forgot to mention that they uh, kind of like does not display their emotions into the world in the sense of that they, they value their secrecy. Uh, not secrecy, but privacy, excuse me, and secrecy as well. So uh, if they, for example, show that they like you and they love you even because that could be the case as well, because usually with, with the King of Cups, they don't approach anything if they don't have something more than just liking, all right? They, I mean, they uh, examine, they explore and uh, they try to connect and if they can't connect it goes beyond just liking but uh, that should stay within the framework of the relationship itself should that be a relationship instead of as soon as you for example have the first kiss you call your girlfriend or your boyfriend uh, depending on what kind of a sex you are and uh, share everything that you just experienced because that if that leaks out 
they're not going to be very very happy of it just so you know i mean it's it's, it's kind of how that how the king of cups functions so going to the next card which is how you should approach the situation that is the page of swords uh, it's, a, it's a very peculiar card, to be honest, fa falling into that position because the Page of Swords is all about being agile with, uh, with your mind and with the way you think, which gives me an, an impression, once again, that whatever offer, whatever interaction or whatever help that person offers you is going to be a bit unorthodox in the sense of that you are going to find a difficult way to fit that thing into your daily routine. For example, that person approaches you for dating, but you are swarmed by work, all right? And you will find it difficult for yourself to fit those dates, even if you are interested in, into your daily routine. So the Page of Swords um, kind of like asks you to make some sort of a spring cleaning to figure out how you can get rid of some sort of un unnecessary responsibilities and unnecessary activities as well into uh, into your life and into your daily routine so you can clear out a room that you can spend more time with that guy or a woman doesn't matter that could be a business advisor once again it could be um, a doctor and so on and so forth it depends on how they are going to manifest into your life but the page also says another thing that this is going to be a new source of help a new source of income a new source of emotional satisfaction so that is a, a brand new source and um, i will not be uh, surprised if the situation plays out in that way that you cannot stand each other for the rest of 10 years for the past 10 years for example and now you both suddenly find out that you do have more in common than you thought you had and they simply one fateful event or one fateful circumstances are making you both realizing that uh, you don't have to be an enemy you have you can be lovers you can be business uh, business partners and so on and so forth the page however asks you to be very um objective in a sense of that when we have the page in a positive uh, aspect it means that you will be able to differentiate very accurately the facts from the fiction and this is probably why you may have these insights that that person could be very productive for your future in in many cases but also the page involves confront confrontation so whatever you have as a fear here let's say that that is truly a suitor and you are afraid that this thing is gonna end eventually for certain reasons reasons that you do have in your mind it will be good to confront once again to share your thoughts see how they think see if that what you are afraid of is truly going to take place or what are the chances to take place, regardless if that is truly gonna be a relationship or a business project, it goes equally for the same type of enterprises. But the point with the page is that you need to clear out, uh, theoretically, all of the minor details that are surrounding the situation throughout this particular week. And the accompanied card that we do have of the page, this is going to be the temperance, which uh, form as a, um, active uh, active friends here and uh, uh, for what it seems uh, you are not gonna have any difficulties to accept the the differences that you do have together because the um the temperance it does point that you will have severe differences in many fields for example different hobbies you know uh, as well different attractions and so on and so forth but in the same time you both are going to have mutual future in many other fronts so with the uh, with the temperance here you will have to uh, or you should use your keen and agile mind to accept the differences as something unique and special rather than as a setback on um, upon a that's potential um, love relationship or potential business partnership 
And uh, the other thing, especially if that is about a business partnership with the, uh, with the help of that person or with the cooperation of that person, many activities that you had until this very moment, which appear to be chores to you and really annoying to work, now are going to become much more enjoyable to tackle with because this person is going to add new shade in there. It's basically they're going to saturate your, your environment with much more positivity than you actually expected at all. And uh, the last card that we do have for you Libras that is going to be the seven of wands which points to the positive outcome or rather like the outcome of growth should you follow the uh, the guidance cards, which are not exactly very heavy, all that you have to do is be initiative, show interest, and as well, don't be biased about what kind of that person needs to be, but be open for their differences to be accepted and to be capitalized on. But with the seven of uh, wands, the cooperation with that person will help you to seize the moment. It is simply what the seven of wands is all about. You will be tested in worthy and outworthy as well. And that will help you to always have your guard in a sense of, uh, and guard not in a negative way. It's not like someone is gonna attack you and you have to guard your ground but guard in the sense of that always being vigilant for the right moment of action, regardless of what kind of a situation you do, uh, we are having here. As well, the seven of pentacles points for a, a pure interaction, pure connection, pure relationship, regardless business or loved one, where no one, and I mean no one from the peripheral environment of it will be able to influence it in any way. So example straight away, that happens to be a suitor of yours and you really fall in love with each other but your family doesn't like him or doesn't like her all right or your friends doesn't like him or doesn't like her well the portion of them not everybody of course but portion of them well those who are against that endeavor of yours will not be able to influence it in any way because the emotional connection regardless business one or love one is going to be as strong as hell and it's basically no one will be able to break that unless you both mutually decide to walk away from one another simply that's what the uh, seven of wands points and uh, also uh, just on a superficial level here the cooperation with that person will help you to overcome some poignant gossips that are swarming around and uh, simply you know, by, by interacting with them, you are going to realize that uh, you have nothing, nothing to be afraid of or ashamed of or whatever gossips are swarming around uh, for your behalf here. The accompanied card that we do have, this is going to be the Five of Pentacles and we form another Active Neutrals. So what that points is that the stronger the Seven of uh, Wands is, the weaker the Five of Pentacles is. So... <clears throat> Basically, the cooperation with this person is going to help you tackle and basically resolve many issues on many fronts. Okay, it simply is going to help you manage your crisis regardless where that crisis is. Uh, once again, that could be a person in, uh, in many ways, you know, because uh, I know a Libra which uh, is going to visit some sort of a consultant and for what this week and for uh, for what it seems from the reading this consultant is gonna do a, a great great job all right I mean like we said that is a help and cooperation and a charity sometimes you gotta pay for it as well especially if it is a business thing so uh, yeah I mean whatever new interaction you do have throughout that uh, week Libras and uh, whoever approaches you with a great idea or with a, a good business plan, you know, or with an, an idea to go out and date and so on and so forth, uh, you should explore it really. I mean, you should show interest, at least according to these cards, because the very least, that thing is going to help you, like I said, manage your crisis, solidify on your positions and not allowing anybody around you to be able to take advantage of your weaknesses and to bring you down or attack your endeavors in your um, enterprises in any way they can. So simply you are going to define some sort of an, a, a, a state of yours 
which limits are going to be prohibited for those who wish you uh, who who are wishing you uh, ill. So yeah, simply that was uh, your tarot reading, Libras, for uh, the week February twenty fifth to March third. 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again that was a general reading for libra star sign and for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level for every single different libra if you want more personal touch on your situation like your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards well that is a subject of a personal reading and for such you can go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing and if you go for that don't forget that till the end of february all of the prices are reduced significantly so i can make myself more accessible to people we need especially a financial one Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.